When I learned more about the brain and neuroscience, I, I started to make some connections that what we intuit as art therapists is actually very scientific. Where you are now, you, you've, you're doing something very exciting. Uh, you're, you're walking the fine line between the, the dark sciences and, and the wonderful art, and you're, you're looking at neuroscience and art and art therapy. Before we get to how you managed to create this relationship, how did you get to this point where you said, this is what I want to focus on? Well, first, before I answer that, oh. I'm so glad you used the word dark sciences, I know. Isn't it right? Great? That was exciting, <laughs> and it reminds me of what Oliver Sacks said mm -hmm. about um, how medicine, our old dark roots, right, yeah. come from many, many moons ago, right, that are born of magic and mysticism and myth. And that's how we began to understand ourselves and how to treat other people, right? And so rather than uh, create a distinction between a dark, hard science and a lighter, loftier one, I propose that we replace this hard science, soft science, pseudoscience continuum with things that we know more about and things that we know less about. So I don't see it as a dark and a light and a distinction. I see it as a, and that really informs research too, because then we can look at what is quantifiable and what isn't quantifiable. And what we learn through the process of art making and creativity is both. So we really need to take a, a multimodal approach to understanding a sense of self. We do have a tendency to look at the black and white. We have a tendency yeah. to, to look at opposites. And your ability to, to, to traverse the continuum and walk back and forth, I think, is, is rich. My question is, you, you've gotten here, and obviously this is just the beginning of another long journey. But what was the impetus to say, you know, I want to start looking at the relationship between neuroscience and art? Right. So when I trained at Hahnemann, which is now Drexel, um, it, when I became an art therapist in my training, um, it changed my life, right? My, my complete trajectory and perspective changed, and I will forever be grateful to my beloved mentors for that. And so I, I graduated and I did some work in the field, a lot of work in the field, and I decided to move from community mental health a few years post-grad, and I took a job as a neurofeedback clinician, and this was back in 2000. And I, that is where I learned about the brain. And so that kind of sparked my interest, and so throughout the process of my development, um, I. Uh, I realized that the more that I learned about the brain, the more that I could support what it is that art therapists do. And so in my work, kind of moving from uh, mental health and behavioral health more into academia and more into research, um, and then starting a new program in the middle of the country where there are, are 30 art therapists and not many people know about art therapy at all, um, I realized that um, standing upon the foundations of neuroscience science provided me with a very solid platform to then go ahead and describe what I understand the tenets of art therapy to be. So you really, you're, you're becoming known for this work. Let's flash forward 20 years from now when you're 35, 40. Yeah, you like that? I'll be 42. And I'm, and I'm going to be 93. Yeah. Well, oh, all right. <laughs> and, and so 20 years from now, where do you see, how do you see this progressing? Where do you see this yeah. ending? In 20 that years. is such a great question. I would like to see, and what I, I believe is part of my lot in life, and my charge is to help the profession of art therapy become embedded in contemporary medical practice. Absolutely, and that's certainly always a goal. But I really, in addition to that, see the neuroscientist and the art therapist becoming partners. Right, um, We inform neurology as much as neurology informs us. And the more that we understand about the brain 
and health and pathology and disease states. We have access as art therapists and within our training to tap into and to connect with um, answers and data that um, other professions absolutely do not. And my work in, in the Department of Neurology very much supports that. Okay, one last question though. Um, we talked about where you saw art therapy and neuroscience 20 years from now. We began the interview talking about what your definition of art therapy was. So let's end it with a, a book in there. Where do you see the field as a whole 20 years from now? So staying true to our roots, I see that we could clearly define three tenets of art therapy. Um, one being that the process of creativity is healing and life enhancing. The second being that materials and methods utilized um, affect different types of self-expression. And then the third being that the uh, therapeutic relationship is essential in the healing process. And I see those three tenets as they define the profession of art therapy all underscored and then proven with neuroscience theory and applied um, evidence.